This is Frank Prendergast for Daily Extra. I'm here with Councillor Pam McConnell. Pam, uh, Ms. McConnell, what, what do you have to say about this recent vi uh, audio tape that's been released? Well, I wish that I would say that I'm surprised, but I am not surprised. Um, this is a mayor who has no understanding of human rights, um, who has no respect for all of the citizens of Toronto, and, uh, and absolutely targets uh, the gay community. And I think it's inappropriate for the mayor of Toronto, a place that is diversity our strength, um, uh, uh, to be the mayor uh, when he cannot even adhere to the law of uh, Ontario and Canada. Uh, it's an embarrassment, uh, but you know what? Uh, it is who he is, and it is time that people peeled back the onion skin and understood that this is a man um, who uh, has racial biases, who has homophobic biases, and who has biases of all different descriptions. And most, uh, uh, the newest one is, of course, we know uh, that he's a misogynist. So all of these things uh, just point to the fact that he is not only incapable of being the mayor of the city, he is inappropriate to be the mayor of the city. I think he was able to offend everyone within our community uh, within that audio tape. Yes. Um, I'm sure, yeah. it's, it's incredibly frustrating, but also uh, the homophobia angle doesn't seem to be mentioning, mentioned a lot in the media coverage. What do you think of the media coverage after he says, I believe this is the quote, their fucking flag, referring to the pride flag. What do you think of the coverage of covering the homophobic angle of this, how it's been done? Well, this is the second time, actually, you will recall um, that uh, uh, he referred uh, similarly to the uh, uh, the leader of the Liberal Party in, in an equally homophobic slur. Um, this is um, his usual uh, way of speaking and behaving, but it's also his way of thinking. And it's um, also and I believe that the that the media um, have not really understood um, the hurtful impact um, that this has on a huge portion of our community and particularly a portion that is about to embrace and welcome the world to Toronto. So the sooner he's gone, uh, the better. And I would hope that during World Pride, he would not only not uh, be in attendance, but not be invited to be in attendance. Is anything short of calling for his immediate resignation uh, a, a possibility? Is, is there anything beyond a complete, total, immediate resignation that would be satisfactory to you? Um, no, uh, but I but I also think uh, that that is unfortunately within his legislative uh, uh, ability. It's not within council. However, because he has taken a leave of absence, has indicated that, then the the mayoralty, all of the mayoralty powers, will move to Norm uh, Kelly. And I think um, that in effect, council will begin um, its own journey to finish off this terrible. Um, this terrible blot uh, on the history of Toronto. Um, and so my view of it is um, that this is a man uh, who we cannot repair um, and that we should try and move beyond that to move to the future. Um, and if we don't have the legislation uh, to remove him, which we don't, um, then we should happily take his... Uh, his uh, um, uh, his, uh, mo uh, his, his his moment of of uh, going to get rehab and use it uh, to get the city back on the right track. It is to me, I am amazed that we are dealing with this kind of um, this kind of behavior um, and public uh, um, humiliation of a community uh, that not only has been a big important community of our city, but is really hosting the world pride. And I, uh, in this year of all years, I'm just amazed that uh, that people aren't just, uh, you know, jumping mm. uh, to attention. And I know you, 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 you talk specifically about uh, Rob Ford, um, yes. but also he has supporters. Um, so this is a, a very difficult as well, is, is that he was elected, he still has supporters, and within the gay community, that is very frightening. Um, what would you say to that? Like, this is not a man that's 
uh, acting on his own. He has supporters. He has Ford Nation. Well, I think that Ford Nation is quickly dissipating, although uh, it's also very uh, disturbing that there continues to be a core of that support. Um, I, um, I, you know, I think that um, uh, we always struggle um, in our city, uh, uh, which is a diverse uh, uh, community. Uh, we struggle with these human rights issues uh, because all of them in effect are in our city. Um, and so we will always have a core of people um, who are from old school, who really um, don't pay attention to the laws, who think that they're for other people. But I hope that those are um, like ice cubes melting. Um, it's not of our new generation of, of, of uh, young people, our new uh, generation of, uh, of children. Uh, they're not in that space. Um, and so these are, you know, this is a throwback to the dinosaurs of the 50s. Um, it is very scary, I entirely agree with you, it is very scary to have uh, uh, the civic leader of our city uh, uh, um, engendering uh, that kind of uh, homophobic uh, behavior um, and emboldening it. Um, and from my perspective, I would say that I gave up um, on November the 18th, which was the day that he knocked me down and quite seriously hurt me. Um, and uh, that's when I gave up uh, um, ever feeling sorry for this man uh, the, or his family. Mm. Um, it is uh, beyond belief uh, that he has continued for all of these months uh, to pretend that he is the mayor of one of the greatest cities of the world. And uh, he, there is no mayor uh, 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 that, is, uh, that, that would make those kinds yeah. of remarks.